we have some great gardening ideas for the kids this time because the kids have been inside way too long. Way too they long. need to get outside. Go. Get Te away. Teacher Jeff, teach us. Yeah. <laughs> teach us what to do with the kiddos this summer. So a great thing to get the kids involved in gardening or introduce into plants um, is starting to do some succulent gardens. Uh, these are easy to take care of. They're low maintenance. They're hard to kill. So this is something that and, and for adults, <laughs> yeah, and for Claudia. So these are just things that you can again get them introduced into uh, the plant world. Beautiful. And uh, for container gardens, there's some great ways to kind of give them little themes and ideas that they can be like their own, take pride in it, kind of container. Yeah, gardens. they can. You can get these really cool galvanized tubs, and you can put all these different herbs and vegetables in it. Um, I created this little. Uh, you know, this is a pizza garden. Um, so you have everything that you need to create a pizza, a healthy pizza. You got your tomatoes, you got your peppers, eggplant, a bunch of herbs, any vegetable really that you want to put on a pizza you can. And from there you can expand into You can expand just garden. into just regular herb garden. You know you have your sage, you have your dill, your rosemary, parsley. The kids can learn where they come from, how to grow, how to harvest. And then they can even help you cook dinner at night too. And I love that idea that, I mean, I think it's so important for kids to know where things come from. Exactly, and not a lot of kids know that. So this is a actual dwarf raspberry plant here. Um, and these are okay. things that you can put into a container uh, because not a lot of us have space, you know, for big raspberries or blueberries. This is a great way to let the kids know where things come from. Um, and last but not least, this sensory garden. Oh, I grew up with this, my mom, after she'd make me work the fields. Uh, <laughs> she had me kind of smell things in the in the herb garden and just the yeah, importance of your, smelling and touching. Keeps your brain flowers. active. We got lavender, we have the uh, lamb's ear, the mosquito plant, and they're not necessarily all edible, but they're just great things to keep your mind going throughout Love the summer. Love all these ideas. Everything can be found at wallach.net.